Well, what's the number one thing y'all have to improve uh, on Tuesday to to extend the series? Um, I think for us, we know we, we it's a must win. And for that, you know, we just got to create some chances. Um, I think that was the one thing we were missing in the game. I think, um, you know, we create a couple more chances. It's a different game. And also, too, it's just managing the moments of the game a little bit better. Uh, as a team, I think we could have done that a little bit better. You know, if we go into the half, nil-nil. Um, maybe it's a different second half we come out to, but I think that's one as a team we all look back and, and we say, you know, that's something we should improve on and try and you know do better for the second for the second game. Was it more about what Columbus was doing or what y'all weren't doing that was limiting? I mean, you only had one created chance in the game. No, I mean I think it's it's a mix of both. I mean we we're a team that we have a lot of creative players and also too, you know, we were missing Thiago, which which is a big miss. But I think you know if. It's, it's very easy to stand here and say Columbus, we're, we're doing this, that, and the other, but I think we're a team that, you know, we we reflect on how we do and we know that we could be better. So I think it's one thing that we'll go, we'll look at, we'll try and be better ourselves because it's we could expect something similar for the second game and we have to find ways to disrupt it. And what did you learn from your first playoff game? How is playoff soccer different than regular season soccer? No, I mean, you know, you, you go into every game wanting to win, but these ones, you know, it's... You, well, and I guess in this case there is one more next week, but you know, they're 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 vital games. They're they're games you want to win, and you know, all games you don't want to lose them. But these ones they they hit a little bit different when they lose. And um, I think we all want to win. We all want to walk away with with the MLS Cup. So we're gonna continue to fight for each other and and fight to get win as many games as possible. Is there any in <clears throat> anything in particular? that you think you can improve upon for this game too? Yeah, I think um, there's always room for improvements. Um, you know, trying to be a little bit cleaner on the ball always. Uh, a couple of turnovers that, you know, um, you, you want to try and eliminate from the game. And at the same time too, it's also taking a little more risk at the right times. Um, I think uh, there was a few times where maybe we could have looked to go forward a little bit more than we didn't and just finding the right balance between the two to try and help the team the best way possible. It wasn't a formation that y'all played in, in a while. Um, it had been, I think, almost since League's Cup since y'all played. Did that affect the execution going forward? Um, I mean, obviously, uh, when you're comfortable in a certain formation, you know, it's very easy to uh, to adapt to it. And, you know, there was, there was a change, but I think Going into it, uh, we we knew what the game plan was, and I think um, we we still could have been able to you know produce a little bit more with with what we had, just because like I said, the players we have and the brains we have as a team, you know, you, you could always try and do a little bit more. But um, it was it was obviously a little tough. Obviously, you know, you try and get a little more practice with it, and we'll see what happens with the next game. Felt like the the first half of the first half, you guys were in pretty good control of things, managing the game pretty well. Was there anything that changed in your mind? Did it just feel like they were getting more numbers forward and kind of pinning y'all back a little bit? Anything you noticed? Um, I think going into it, you know, Columbus is a team that's good on the ball, and we were we were expecting them to be good. We were expecting them to, to have control of the game at point, but I think the biggest thing for us was um, yes, they can have it, but, you know, we could still kind of be in control of, of how it is. And we knew the, 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 we felt the pressure a little bit more, but I think, you know, as a team, we kind of say to ourselves, I don't know if um, they were pr producing anything that really scared us a lot at times. And I think, you know, just dealing with the pressure, and like I said, we we've, maybe if we go into the half at nil-nil, it's a different game, but um, it's, it's one that, you know, we look back on and we see, you know, maybe is there moments where we can change it? I don't know. Looking back at it, the, the player jumped out to me for then that caused problems was Marrera, the, the center back, getting forward and getting into your areas a lot, getting into Mateus' areas a lot. How hard is it when a team floods the, the midfield with an extra center back, an extra player, for you guys to make sure that everybody's picked up? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a little tough. And, you know, that's, that's the rules of teams to make it difficult for the opposing team. And that's one thing they did. They added an extra midfielder and you know when the ball's on one side and you're trying to look to make sure the shape is good watch runners in behind you and then another guy pops in um, it's obviously a little a little difficult at times but 
I think, you know, we, we had a decent understanding of covering each other and working well with each other. So we were just trying to, you know, manage it and control it the best way we possibly could, where once the ball gets over to him, we slide over and, and defend as a group on that side of the field now. What was the vibe like in the locker room afterwards? Was it anger? Was it frustration? What, what did it feel like to you? Um, I think a mix of all, the anger, the frustration, um, there was obviously a little bit of disappointment, but at the same time, too, you, you know you have another opportunity at home on Tuesday. So it's it was very important that we, we got that behind us because if we continue with that for multiple days on, you know, it can affect the mood of the team in a way we don't want. And, you know, we want to be able to go into the game on, on Tuesday with a, a fresh mindset, knowing that if we win that one, then we have the momentum going into the third game to potentially pick up a win and move on to the next round. Yeah, it felt like pretty quickly that, you know, the – that vibe was washed away and you feel like coming in today and you know getting a little bit of work in you feel like everybody is past it and looking ahead to Tuesday yeah for the most part everybody's past obviously you know we'll we'll talk about things that happen in the game just to try and you know fix it for the next time around but um lo losing is a part of football and I think everybody's at that point now where um you lose a game and you know you can't dwell on it um you have to move on to the next one so I think everybody's ready to move on, ready to, to start putting the work again in this week to, to get ready for the next game and, and get a big win at home. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jack. Thank Appreciate you. it. What's the the number one thing y'all have to do better to take this to a game three? Que es la cosa más, bueno, más importante que el equipo tiene que hacer para llegar al tercer partido? Creo que atacar mejor. Creo que ese partido ha jugado bien. Eh, otra vez, los detalles que, que regalamos ahí, dos a ese, pero creo que tenemos que trabajar mal los ataques y con la vuelta de Tiago ahí, creo que va a cambiar mucha cosa y ya eso. Creo que la parte defensiva estamos bien, soportamos bien eh, casi todo el partido y ahora trabajamos un poco la parte ofensiva. I think, uh, I think to attack better. Um... Of course, there's you know there's always the small details that, that we can correct, um, but I think uh, to attack better this game we know we'll have Thiago, um, and and with him, you know he's a big part of our, our attack and, and things will change um, having him, but I think defensively we uh, we were we were pretty good, um, but just to, to attack better. The formation that y'all used against Columbus is not one that you've used since the League's Cup, I don't think. Um, did that affect y'all's confidence going forward, your ability just to, to play? Dice que el, el, la línea de cinco, que el equipo no ha jugado así desde League's Cup, eh, en su opinión, si eso afectó algo, la, la confianza o, o algo del, del equipo. No, la confianza creo que no. Okay. No, not our confidence. Well, just the, the lack of familiarity, the timing, was that affected because it's just not one that you've used in a while? Eh, si, si afectó algo en, en el ritmo con los compañeros o, o algo así. Quizás, uh, quizás en el momento de, oh, quizás en el momento de, de atacar cuando tenemos la pelota ahí, que es un poco diferente, pero creo que la confianza sí, estamos con la misma confianza de siempre. No, maybe in, in certain moments um, yeah. when, when we're attacking, but uh, I think the confidence is, is always there. Okay. Haven't had a chance to see Columbus now three times. What do they do that makes it difficult to play against? Eh, después de haber jugado varios partidos contra Columbus, ¿qué, qué, es, eh, ¿qué hacen ellos para ser un equipo tan complicado? Creo que Columbus tiene eh, un estilo de juego muy parecido con nosotros. Le usan siempre tener la pelota y, y siempre cuando ellos fallan, nosotros marcamos y cuando nosotros fallamos, ellos marcan. Entonces, Eh, ahora tenemos la ventaja que vamos a jugar en casa y tenemos la vuelta de Tiago también, entonces creo que va a ser un, un partido muy muy bueno, muy disputado. I think they're a, a team who plays a similar style to us. They they like to have the ball. Um, you know, when when they get chances, they they've been able to convert and, and we've missed some chances. Um, but now we know, you know, we're going to have Tiago. We're playing at home um, and we we want to have a good game. They do a, a really good job of flooding your area of the field in the midfield with uh, Marrera in the last game coming forward and being an extra midfielder. How does how does your team combat that? 
Dice Columbus pone mucha gente en el medio campo, con Morera, por ejemplo, subiendo a, a ese área desde la línea defensiva. ¿Cómo ustedes cómo combaten eso? Eso es una cosa que nosotros estamos hablando con Gonzalo, cómo vamos a arreglar eso. Eh, todos sabemos que siempre viene con Nagy y con Morris también, los dos jugadores que son buenos. Y siempre los, los jugadores que están afuera vienen adentro a jugar también. Pero eso es una cosa, un detalle que vamos a, vamos a arreglar el entrenamiento. Y, y bueno, creo que no vamos a jugar lo mismo acá en casa y sabiendo que nosotros vamos con todo para arriba. Yeah, that's something that we've we've spoken about with Gonzalo. Uh, we know that they they bring players to that area of the, of the field, whether it's him or or Morris or other players coming uh, coming inside. So um, yeah, we'll we'll be prepared, and also us playing playing at home. Um, you know, we'll see if if they change anything uh, for this game. But yeah, we've we've talked about that situation. What was the the mood like in the locker room after the game, and then how has it been today with everybody focused on Tuesday? Eh, ¿Cómo fue el ambiente, el el humor del equipo después del partido, y cómo es hoy? Uh, creo que por el partido normal se queda un poco frustrado por no ganar, pero pero bueno, un partido ya se fue, entonces más importante ahora Marte y estamos motivados. Estamos todos focados con los mismos pensamientos de llegar y, y ganar los partidos. After the game, I think it's normal that that we were all frustrated, um, but um, today we're we're good. It, the game, that game's in the past, so now we're we're all just thinking about Tuesday. When you, when oh, you sorry, at, sorry, my bad. Last one. Uh, when you look ahead to Tuesday, just what's the the most important area for you for the team to to control the game? En, en el partido del martes, ¿qué, ¿qué será la parte más importante del partido, en tu opinión? Creo que tenemos que controlar toda la situación, toda la situación del partido, eh, tanto defensivo como ofensivo. Eh, siempre que jugamos en casa, siempre presionamos, siempre somos mucho agresivos y nosotros no vamos a cambiar eso. Creo que ese es el pensamiento y presionar y jugar. Más importante es jugar y a eso que nosotros sabemos hacer. I think uh, we just have to be able to control uh, all the situations. We know at home we're, we're a team that likes to press, we like to attack, so offensively, def uh, defensively, uh, be in control. And yeah, we're, we're going gonna to go out and, and give everything on Tuesday. Y'all had frustrated Columbus through the first 20 minutes uh, on Wednesday. And then Matan, I think, got injured, and there was a long period where players were coming over and talking to the coaches. Did Columbus change anything? Uh, tactically at that point because then they started getting a lot more shots off in the remainder of the first half. ¿Tú crees que Columbus cambió algo después de los primeros 20 minutos del partido el otro día, después de la lesión de Matan, bueno, cuando estaba tocado? Creo que no. No. No? no. Okay. Right. And have you thought about Tuesday being possibly your last game here? Sí. Yo estaba pensando eso, pero bueno, el foco total está en jugar el 100% y después de eso podemos pensar sobre el contrato y ese tipo de cosas. Yeah, I thought about it, but my full focus is, is on Tuesday right now, and then after the game we'll, uh, we'll think about those things. Right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Mateo. Thank you, Mateo. Appreciate it.